Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauberlab and today we'll show how you can install Flatum. I don't know if I spoke it correctly, but the name of this application is Flatum. As the name is intended to say, it's an option for you to create your own forum. You can use for different applications. You can use for inside house if you want. You can use for external usage. In my case, I wanted to use for my website. Some time ago, I started to do a kind of blog, a kind of forum, because I wanted to get more questions or people more involved and the YouTube don't allow you to put all the information, pictures or something directly there. So in this way, I decided to look for another option. And this option, it's one of the options that I find. It's not the only one, but it's one that I wanted to show. And if you guys like it, I will uh, try to implement for my website. Initially as a temporary, if it uh, works well, I will put as a permanent because um, I didn't have enough uh, time to try. But remember, I'm not installed directly in Oracle Cloud. I have a virtual machine where I do all my trials and this installation will do in this virtual machine. So I will show you guys how I can do it. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's see it. If you follow my channel, so you're gonna know what the next step. In this time, I will show a little bit more about the website and go through with you guys and see if you like or not. If you don't like, then don't lose your time to do the installation, but if you like, then give a go. So first thing they see that's forum made simply, modern, fast and free. So it's an open source program that it's free and you can use as much as you want. So let's go a little bit down. They show extensible, elegant, mobile first, stable, fast and light, secure and trustful, have a lots of different location or language that you can use so you can install it. And I presume that we work everything with that language. I didn't try, but uh, you can look in the documentation that will explain how to do it. Also, you have some showcase that they show, We're not gonna do it, but first we go here and click try out. As they say, give it a spin. So they allowed you to try this application, this forum, to see if it's work or not. What they say, that reset daily. So every day they reset it. Also, they have uh, not allowed to do any mail. To log in, you can use the user as admin and the password, password. So let's go and try it. Once that they try, they have some discussion that is general, videos, thoughts and something. If I come here for all the discussions, have these tags, you can set up the way that you like. And here have a lots of different discussions. So they start a discussion here and I have no idea what kind of discussion that they did. But uh, it's something important. Let's go back here and I have other discussion, general. And if I look for this one, I can see here in this bar what is going on, what posts that are and which date has been done. So if I come here, I have overview for all my posts so I can see what is going on. As well, I can return it and I can uh, do the looking and do everything that you want. It's only a try and they say that reset it at midnight and 11 minutes. So it's only a few hours that it's on and have quite lots of discussion that they was trying or play around. So have this one in mind and if you like this idea, so we go through the installation. To do the installation, we're gonna use this image. The image that you're gonna use will be a uh, Docker Flatum. So we're gonna install in the Docker. And if I go a little bit down, they have some explanations for how to do the installation. But one thing that's important for you that they say that's multi-platform image. So they will work with uh, Linux 386, will work with uh, AMD 64, ARM v6, ARM v7, and ARM 64. If I'm not wrong, the Oracle Cloud work with ARM64, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe that it will be our ARM64. So have this one in mind, they will work in Oracle Cloud. I didn't try it yet, but uh, you can do it. Or you can use other kind of VPS to install the same application, as long as you have the dock installed. So they say that's lightweight and security image, and they explain a little bit what kind of uh, database that they use and what capability for this application. They say that use as default port 88 and as well they need some uh, folders. The folders that we need is these ones, but we're gonna explain ahead. Also, you need to define GID, UID and continue on. 
this one we're gonna show ahead remember that you can set up a upload max file so they will if you put two megabytes maximum that they can upload two megabytes and also how much memory that they use if you're using an instance that don't have so much memory so you need to reduce it as also have a little bit more information that you need to look so it's worth for you to check as well this one will be the variables for your installation where will it be the user password mails and titles and here to do our installation you have two options you can pull the image but in our case we're gonna do the docker compose the docker compose basically we're gonna need to run this docker compose also we're gonna need to create a flatum environmental this flat environmental it's where you're gonna keep your website your information your passwords and everything to be able to access the flatum when you create it so in this way first we need to create this one and after we can create this one remember if you decide to don't use this specific file location you're gonna need to create another file location in order to make everything work so let's start to do the installation to do the installation i will open putty with my ip from my machine my virtual machine i'm using open media file 5 but you can do the same installation use uh, any other linux base i will suggest you to use ubuntu but you can do apparently in any Linux. So what you need to do, first you need to create a folder or the, that folder that you want. So MKD and you create it. I read create, so will not work. So the only thing that I can do is CD and end in this location. Inside this location, we create, need to create one file. The file that we need to create is this one, flavum.env. So I come here and put nano and paste this name and I enter it because I already had done this installation before, so I have all the information already set up, but I will explain what you need to worry about. First thing, the URL, you need to put your website. Don't forget to put HTTPS, two dots, slash, slash, otherwise they will not look for the HTTPS. And because we're gonna use the proxy manager in this installation, so you need to put HTTPS. Now we're gonna define our Marian database. One thing that you're gonna need to change will be your password. If you already have more than one database in your system, maybe you should consider to change your database port. So in my case, I use the standard, but I suggest you to look and if you have more, change for 35, 36, or 37, and continue on. Other thing, you need to create your user, your password, your email, and your title of your site. If you want to use a different title, don't forget to put here. Also, you're gonna need to log in with your email and your password, so don't lose it. Anyway, you can return here and say, check what you did. Have this one, now we can exit it, and now we need to create our docker-compose.iml. So if I come here, so I will use nano docker slash compose.iml, and I'm gonna run it. As I told, I already installed it before, so I don't need to edit everything in front of you. But so what you need to worry? You need to look for this environmental. If you save any other location, this flatum.env, you need to locate exactly the same location, so you need to modify it. I suggest to keep everything in the same place, so you're gonna need to modify this, 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 and this to have everything in the same place. Other thing that you need to do is to change the port. If I open here, they offer you the port 80, but uh, I'm right using the port 8 on the open media file, so it will have conflict so I change it for 8.6. Also, they have a little bit dependence of Maria database, so I'm gonna go a little bit down and here I'll do my configuration. So here it's my password root, my database, my user, and my password, and here's the location of my database. I use exactly the same place that I'm saving only to be easy for me. So I have everything modified as required. You can come here, Ctrl, Ctrl, X, and now I need to run this one. As the website say, let's go back here. First, they suggest you to run the database and after you run the application. Why this one happen? Because if the database don't run fast enough and don't do the installation properly and don't start it, when you're gonna try to install this application, they will not work well. So they suggest you to do first this one. So let's do the same. Let's copy here and I come here and paste it, enter. Once that appear, okay, and done. Now I can come and install the other application. But before you install, remember, they say that if your password is less than eight characters, they will make an error and it will not work. So I suggest you to do it in the 
correctly sized. So I come here and run the second Docker Compose. In this case, it will be the proper application that you install and put Enter. Once that it's complete, it means that they download everything, they install, and now we can go for our portainer to see if everything is installed successful. Here in our portainer, let's update this page. I have the Flatum and the database installed, so it's working. Other thing that I have in my Docker, it's the proxy manager. So I had already installed it, so I can come here and start to create our site. Remember that first line, we define our URL. Yes, in this time, you need to create your URL. Let's me open this page to edit it. So I will use forum.cyberlab.com. The IP address will be exactly the same for my machine and the port 86 because I define it. WebSocket and block common exploit is activate. You don't need to do it, but I like to do all the time. And if I come here in SL, I have everything activated. And you're gonna ask me, Alan, here what I can see, you didn't create a certification specific for that application. I will say, yes, I don't create it because I didn't want to do it. And you always have this option. I make it propose because you don't need to always create a new certification. You can use other certification that's already created if you want. Suppose that I create a certification for cyberlab.com and that's all the rest of application will be under the same SL certification. Yes, you can do it, it's not a problem. You don't need to create one certification for each application or for each website. If you have a main site and want everything follow the main site, you can do it. It's only select the other one. And now I can here save. So to open my forum, I will click Forum Cyber Lab, and now I wait it to open. Now it's red access externally, so if anyone open it externally, they will be able to see. What I did so far, I have two discussion. Let's do the login. Once that I did my login, I can start any discussion that I want. I can test. I can come here and decide which characteristic or which general that I want, home. And I put hello, all, oh, and I put start discussion. And now we start my discussion, I have only one, I can follow it. And if I come here in Cyber Lab and Administration, now I can see the overview what I have. If I look here, I have three discussions, three posts, and uh, this one have one post. You can come here in Basic, where you can define the title of your forum. You can make some forum description, so you can add what is going on. You can create all the discussion or tags, welcome and what message that you want. Also, I can come here in mail, I can set up to send email automatically or receive email automatically or do something according to your needs. Permissions, you can define a different permission, so new group, mods or administration. So I can define what everyone have. If you want to block open, I can close it and no one can set up anymore. Don't do it because if you don't have enough people, they will not create more user. But anyway, appearance, you can define the colors, what mode, if you come here in dark mode, change. They should be go for dark mode. If user will appear all the users. This one it's an admin. If you add others admin, otherwise they will standard come as a user. And here have a lots of other features that you can check and see if it's fit for your needs or not. If you are not an English speaker and you want to do a form for other country, you always can uh, modify which language that's set up. Of course, you need to look a little bit better in documentation and follow these steps. That's not a problem. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Please advise if you like this template and if you think that this application will be quite good for my website. If you like, I will change it and uh, put as a trial. If it work quite well, I will change it permanently. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.